have it the first tick on the index nifty absolutely flat just consolidating around 19400 the mid cap index is having a better showing so the broader markets are looking pretty good up about 116 odd points for the mid cap index and the advanced decline ratio is solid at 1600 stocks on the advancing side let's take it straight to the gainers now bpcl adani ports ongc apollo hospitals your top four gainers Dr. Reddy's has been gaining quite a bit of ground. In fact, uh, this year, Dr. Reddy's is now up 30%. Apollo Hospitals, Divi's Lab. So, Pharma is doing quite well this morning. And let's take a look at Lupin because that's the one that's, you know, delivered a good set of numbers. So, Lupin should be up for you on your screen in a minute. 1.5% higher there, post earnings. You have m &M coming out with earnings tomorrow. So, up about 4 tenths of a percent on m &M. Hero Motor Corp is looking pretty good as well. l and Asian Paints are a couple of other stocks that are trending in the, red right, uh, trending in the green right now. On the red side, you have Tata Consumers, Tech Mahindra, Axis Bank, Bharti Airtel and HDFC Bank. So, in general, the consumption space is a bit under pressure. Britannia, HUL are in the red. Aisha Motors comes out with earnings tomorrow. That one is a tad bit in the red as well. So, you know, you'd have to say, give and take everything, it's not a bad opening, flat. But at least holding on to the gains of yesterday. Well, that's right, Sonia. We're getting mixed uh, numbers actually in terms of result reactions. A few of these stocks that are getting... Uh, a bit of a knock this morning should come up for you on the screen. MTAR Tech, that stock is down close to around 8%. So that's seeing a big uh, sell-off out there. You have Ami Organics, that's down close to around 6%. It appears the street didn't like these numbers too much. GNFC is down close to around 4.5%. MTAR Tech is now down close to around 10%. So big cut being seen out there. Avalon Tech as well. Remember, the stocks, these stocks have run up a good deal. But the numbers appeared a little bit disappointing. So you have Avalon Tech as well that's under some pressure. HEG, well, the management had told us actually in the past quarter that the next quarter as well will be fairly muted. And the numbers were quite muted as well. So HEG has opened up with a cut of around 3%. And Sri Renuka Industries as well is lower. So those are about the stocks that are losing and most of them reacting to numbers. On the gaining end, you have Wellspun Corp. Well, the numbers look quite good. You know, there's a ramp up in terms of five volumes. Also, they got a good amount of order book and debt has come down. So Wellspun Corp is up close to around 5%, I think, as we speak. GMR Path, it's one of the top volume uh, movers today. So that as well is up close to around 5%. It's locked in upper circuit. Ashoka Bilcon is another name that's moving quite well. So those are quite a few stocks in the broader markets that are moving around, most of them reacting to numbers. But I think from the frontline uh, FNO names, uh, you know, just trying to pull up a few stocks out there. GNFC, that's a loser. You have Oil India as well that's under some pressure. While on the winning end, you have PFC. That stock is up a good 3%. Uh, you know, 20 points lower. Uh, so, you know, as we were saying in the morning, maybe, and maybe it's not going to be a, a bad thing if you spend a day or two, uh, you know, uh, consolidating a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit sideways possible. Uh, we'll see. 20 points lower is what we have on the Nifty. This is just the start. Take a look at what we have on, uh, you know, some more names. So, Tata Power, and you'll hear from the management in just a bit from now, it's down 3%. Uh, so, Q1 was uh, soft and Q2 is... Uh, is uh, is actually okay, but I mean, compared to consensus expectations out there, it's a bit of a miss once again. United Spirits, McDowell, that's down about 1.7%, 1,081 on uh, United Spirits. Uh, Tata Alexi will come up, and these are large, the big volume-led uh, losses. Uh, Price-wise, 1.5% cut, because there are volumes, 8,118. Uh, there is Oil India, which is down 3.5%, so that's a direct oil... Uh, play. Oil prices go down as a production company, <clears throat> what they're able to get in terms of realization uh, goes down as well. Cupid, which had a, a frenzied move recently higher, is down about 5.5% percent. HEG is down about 3.6% percent as well. And look at Mama Earth, which is Honasa. Uh, you know, it basically, uh, I think, uh, listed, uh, started trading at about 330 and uh, it's, at about, it's at about 310 right now. That is uh, Honasa coming up with uh, not large volumes, but it's got some right now. Deviani is another one which is down about 1% or so uh, at uh, this stage. And some gainers, apart from what uh, you guys mentioned, uh, PFC is up uh, 3%, is a top volume traded gainer, by the way, across the board. Uh, there is Brigade, uh, another management you will hear from uh, in just a bit on the program here. Brigade is up 5.5%. Uh, so that's a strong gainer. Yesterday, Prestige was very, very strong. Nazara Tech is up about 2.6%. Med Plus is up about 4%. And uh, yeah, I mean, there is a fair bit opening up. Market breadth is positive, although it's nothing, you know, gangbusters. It's 1,100 stocks higher and about 800 stocks which are lower right now. Sonia. Guys, are you sure you are contributing enough to United Spirits earnings? <laughs> because that stock is under pressure. So, you know, it's a festive season. Come on, you need to kind of do your bit. <laughs> oh, on the weekend. <laughs> Try to... <laughs>
try to contribute. Sonia's yeah. message, start chugging. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, uh, you know, more on that later. But 30 points lower is what we have on the Nifty, 19,415 on uh, the index. Uh,